Grade 5, Quarter 2, Week 4, Lesson 4. Revised K-12 Curriculum, Lesson Exemplar Based. Our main topic is about decimal numbers with decimal parts up to 10 thousands. And our subtopic is about comparing and ordering decimals up to 10 thousands. For Day 2, again, our topic is comparing and ordering decimals up to 10 thousands. Now let's analyze this problem. Pia weighs 34.4 kilograms, while Catriona weighs 34.35 kilograms. Who is lighter, Pia or Catriona? Notice that the whole number parts are the same, so we will just compare the decimal parts to determine who is lighter. We can compare the decimal parts using blocks. Recall that 0 and 4 tenths is equivalent to 0 and 40 hundredths. Here's an illustration for 0 and 40 hundredths. And this one is for 0 and 35 hundredths. So it's very clear. The illustration above shows that 0 and 4 tenths is greater than 0 and 35 hundredths. This means that 34.4 kilograms is greater than 34.35 kilograms. Therefore, Catriona is lighter. Now compare each pair of decimals using the symbols less than, greater than, or equal to. Number one, 44 and 55 hundredths. Compare it with 44 and 59 hundredths. Notice that the rest of the numbers except for 5 and 9 have the same place value and have the same value as well or the same number of digits. So for our solution, compare only those digits in red. We have 5 or number 5 in this decimal number and we have 9 on the second decimal number. So 5 is less than 9 so the correct symbol is less than. Therefore, 44 and 55 hundredths is less than 44 and 59 hundredths. Now let's take number 2 for example. 0 and 47 hundredths compared with 0 and 472 thousandths. For our solution, let's add or put 0 next to 47 in order for it to have a digit in a thousands place. The same with the second decimal number. So now it's easier to compare that because they now have the same number of decimal places. 470 ends with 0 and 472 ends with 2. So 0 is less than 2, therefore the correct symbol is less than. 470 thousands is less than 472 thousands. Ordering decimals, we can arrange decimal numbers using the place value chart. Let's arrange 11 and 224 thousands, 1 and 122 thousands, and 11 and 221 thousands. Our solution, let's align the digits according to their place values. Okay, the first one we have from the decimal point to the left, so there's 11, so 1 ones, 1 tenths, and to the right we have 2 tenths, 2 hundredths, and 4 thousandths. For the second number we have 1 ones, 1 tenths, 2 hundredths, and 2 thousandths. And on the third number we have 1 ones, 1 tenths, and to the right, we have two tenths, two hundredths, and one thousandths. Then observe the place value chart carefully. Using the place value chart, let's compare first the whole number parts. Since one is less than 11, then one and 122 thousandths is the least. Then compare the decimal digits starting from the highest place value let us compare 11 and 224 thousands and 11 and 221 thousands. 
the tens and hundreds digits are the same, so we just have to compare the thousands place. And we have four compared with one. Comparing the thousands digits, since four is greater than one, then 11 and 224 is the greatest. Arranging numbers in ascending order means from least to greatest. So arranging the numbers in ascending order, we have 1 and 122 as the least. Next is 11 and 221 thousands and 11 and 224 thousands as the greatest. Now let's arrange it in a descending order. Arranging numbers in descending order means from greatest to least. Arranging the numbers in descending order, we have 11 and 224 thousands, 11 and 221 thousands, and 1 and 122 thousands. Work examples. Order the given decimals from least to greatest. So we have number 1, 14 and 786 thousands. 46 and 789,000, 49 and 356,000, and 11 and 234,000. So all of them ends with a thousandth place. But before we arrange them, we have to look at the whole number first. So the greatest whole number is 49, followed by 46, then 14, then 11. But we have to arrange these decimals from least to greatest. So therefore, 11 and 234 should come first, followed by 14 and 786 thousands, then 46 and 789 thousands. Lastly, the greatest is 49 and 356 thousands. As for number 2, we have 0 and 67 thousands, 1 and 896 thousands, 0 and 897 thousands and 1 and 654 thousands. Looking at their whole numbers, we have two zeros and two one whole numbers, meaning the least should come from the numbers or the decimal numbers with zero whole numbers. So we have 0 and 67 thousands and 0 and 897 thousands. First, we have to look at the highest place value, which is the tenths place. So 0 and 8, 0 is less than 8. Therefore, the least decimal number is 0 and 67 thousands, followed by 0 and 897 thousand, then followed by 1 and 654 thousands, then the greatest is 1 and 896 thousands. In the case of these two, we have the same whole number 1, but on the tenths place, 6 is less than 8. So the greatest is 1 and 896 thousands. Now let's order the given decimals from greatest to least, reverse. So for the first set, we have... 0 and 765 thousands, 0 and 567 thousands, 0 and 435 thousands, then 0 and 456 thousands. We have to look at the tenths place to compare which one is the greatest and which one is the least. So for here we have 7 followed by 5, then 4, then another 4. So meaning our greatest is, is still 0 and 765 thousands followed by 0 and 567 thousands. But for the last two, we have to select from these two. They have the same four tenths, but on the hundreds place, three is lesser than five. So therefore, 0 and 435 thousands is the least. That should be the order. And for the second set, we have 1 and 487 thousands, 1 and 908 thousands, 11 and 354 thousands, 9 and 576 thousands. 
Their whole numbers tell us that 11 and 354 thousands is the greatest. It should come first, then followed by 9 and 576 thousands. Then for these two, they have the same one whole number, but in the tenths place, 4 is less than 9. So this decimal is the least. So we have 11 and 354 thousands as the greatest, followed by 9 and 576 thousands, then followed by 1 and 908 thousands, then the least is 1 and 487 thousands. Now it's your time to answer. Answer the following according to the given directions. Order the given decimals from least to greatest. And the second sets, order the given decimals from greatest to least. Good luck! Alright, thank you for watching your guide towards learning. Teacher ITV, like, share, and subscribe.